Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. My name is Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family with some exciting news regarding our quality of life update. You may wonder, what is quality of life release? Glad you asked. For this release, our teams have focused on addressing all of the capability gaps, productivity, and stability issues that we knew were making using Fusion 360 Electronics challenging. We discovered many of them, but we would like to thank those who have joined our Fusion 360 Insider program and those who are actively participating in our forums who have taken the time to inform us of any issues they have run into. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's world, successful product development is about how fast and efficiently we could get to market. We all must be as productive as possible when using our design tools. Instead of navigating the workspace to find the following command, you will now be able to enhance your design experience with the new Fusion 360 Electronics keyboard shortcut feature. A feature that allows you to assign keystroke shortcuts to a single command or a complete command line sequence, a helpful script, or execute a user language program. An excellent example of this new feature is assigning shortcuts to easily access your schematic bill of material or possible a different view of your design statistics. My favorite use for this feature is creating a shortcut that will allow me to easily access a command that allows me to highlight assets on the circuit board from a selection I've defined on the schematic. I also noticed that participants in the Insider program told me that they were using it to switch grids while routing and placing parts. Defining keyboard shortcuts is going to make your design time be more productive. I'm going to continue showing you some more of our productivity enhancements for this update. Defining a connection on a schematic would usually take a few steps since one command was to draw the net and the other one was to name it. Well, with this update, you'll be able to use the same command and access the necessary options. Notice that the net active has the option to override the default naming convention. In addition, autocomplete will list the names of the signals already matching my signal. This eliminates that guesswork of remembering the name of the net you want to connect to on sheet four. Autocomplete also works when naming pads in the footprint workspace or when naming your pins in the symbol. It will always display on the autocomplete the next available name. Now let's return to the schematic. I want to show you what we've done with the supply pins. Usually supply pins, it was necessary to only use supply pins that had the pin name according to the voltage that we needed. This meant that you needed to have a pin symbol for every voltage you wanted to work with. With this productivity update, that's no longer necessary. When selecting a pin from the supply library and placing it, you will now have the option to name that pin. It will now become the supply pin carrying the assigned voltage. When I run a net from that pin, notice that it adopted the name of the supply pin as it's supposed to. This next enhancement is going to really make all those that requested very happy. Again, we appreciate very much when you've reached out to us. I'll have a link in the description for those interested in joining our Fusion 360 Insider program. Fusion 360 Electronic only allows the movement of parts and other assets by using the mouse. 
Many of you asked us to include the capability of using your arrows on the keyboard. Well, as usual, our team of developers has delivered. The assets will now move based on your current grid. Remember that you could always press and hold the Alt key to use the alternative grid. I like assigning the Alt grid to a very fine setting, allowing me to fine tune my component placement. Always remember to work on a 0.1 inch grid when placing parts and defining connections on your schematic. This next feature is one we've always had, but it was difficult to find. You can now access the schematic assembly variants from the design manager. Assembly variants allow you to repurpose your existing schematic design and assign different values for your components or simply indicate which one will not be populated. This reduces the variety of physical parts to fabricate and inventory, such as bare printed circuit boards. A common use for design variants is for consumer products that need to be regionalized. A product line can utilize shared parts instead of multiple copies. A great example of assembly variants is a TV. It needs to have different power and video standards to suit the varying target markets or destinations. We know that many of you were unsure how to productively migrate to Fusion 360. We have made a few updates to ensure the transition from Eagle to Fusion 360 is so much easier. Eagle design files and library files are 100% compatible with Fusion 360 electronics. The first time you launch Fusion 360, it will automatically detect if you have any local libraries and give you the option to upload them. We mentioned this in an early update, but this time it was only working for Windows users. Now our Mac users will also be able to experience this. In addition, when uploading your Eagle design files, you will now have the option to automatically create the electronic design document. The electronic design document keeps your schematic and circuit board synchronized. By opening up the electronic document, the schematic and the associated board will automatically load. There are many more features and enhancements for this quality of life update. Please review the Fusion 360 What's New blog. I'm going to go ahead and place a link in the description. But I wanted to tell you a few more that I really feel you're going to like. The Fusion 360 electronics cam processor is used to generate your manufacturing files for your circuit board. Many of us have expressed they wanted the cam processor to automatically load the cam job of your preference based on your specific design. Well, in this update, you're going to notice the set as active cam job option on the top toolbar. You will no longer have to navigate your drive to find that cam job of your preference. In addition, the one click manufacturing option will also use the cam job you've set as active. Now, you will be able to save time and have your manufacturing files in moments using the exact settings of your preference. I also wanted to let you know that our team has addressed over 30 stability issues that would cause Fusion 360 to crash. So please check out our forum post or the official What's New blog for details. In addition to stability, we also noticed, and some of you have reported, performance issues when using Fusion 360. Loading files was taking longer than expected. Well, in this update, you're going to notice a much better performance. We address a faster calculation of polygons, making it so much faster when loading design files 
or when using the CAM processor. In addition, we made the appropriate changes to make sure that the move, undo, and add command are more responsive. To help you be more productive, we've added a host of new preferences in which you will be able to set up more default preferences for your electronic workspace. Now, you could assign your default trace width, via size, drill size, pads, polygon properties, and, and much more. Instead of setting this up for every new project, these settings will automatically be applied. No need of wasting time setting this up every time. There will be a lot more choices and preset options the next time you generate your 3D model of your circuit board. These presets are based on the amount of details you want on your 3D model. For a quick glance of your 3D model of your circuit board, use the faster settings. These will work like canvas, while the other options will provide you more detail but will take longer to load. Options like this make it easier to quickly review a different perspective of your design. In the list of components, you can now select which component should or should not be loading a 3D model. For my example, I'm deselecting a 3D model for the test points as well as for the speaker cables. This really optimizes your design workflow. The quality of life update addresses performance, stability, and productivity enhancements. All the key ingredients needed to enhance and optimize your design experience with Fusion 360 Electronics. For this presentation, I was not able to demonstrate all of the new enhancements, so make sure to visit the Fusion 360 Electronics forum and review the What News blog. Thank you for joining all this and more with Fusion 360.